was my hair. Your hair looks great. <laughs> it's because I didn't brush it. That's really my secret. Yeah. <laughs> when you don't brush it? Yeah, it looks, <laughs> it looks best when I don't brush it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, me too. It's, it's so much better. <laughs> um, how to... Attract. How to attract a conscious... Relationship. A conscious relationship. Yeah, how do we do that? <clears throat> this is one of my favorite topics as well. Anything about conscious relationships is really... You have a whole program about that one, right? I do have a program about attracting love, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, I love this because I think that we often think we have to do something to attract a conscious relationship. And we also think that a conscious relationship looks a particular way. And usually that is, it looks... It looks and feels really good. That's what people often think. And um, yeah, that's true. Like some, that's true about a relationship. It does, that's part of it. It does feel good and look good and all, all of that. But the real truth is a conscious relationship is about being with someone who is provoking you to become more conscious, which often is a messy process. That's not always easy and fun and enjoyable. So the consciousness piece isn't about, I'm going to attract this perfect person who's going to come in and make me feel good all the time. Mm. The consciousness piece is like, how yeah. am I going to show up to what is being presented right in front of me? And one more thing I want, I want to hear what you have to say about it, but one more thing about it is you are automatically going to attract the people, the places, the life experiences that are going to call you to become into more consciousness, into higher consciousness. They're automatically going to show up. So you don't have to rearrange yourself to become a certain way to attract in a certain partner. The truth is the more conscious you become, then of course, the more conscious your, your partner is going to be. Mm -hmm. You're going to be a match. But until you get there, show up for what's what and who is showing up in front of you yeah and yeah i feel exactly the same yeah it's like uh, the way i look at it right now is instead of me trying to control you know i see somebody that i'm attracted to and then i zoom on that person and say oh that's the person with who i'm supposed to be sharing something it's more like a scanning process i open myself really to to life in general yeah. and uh, you know somebody gives me their number or somebody starts relating to me or i meet somebody with facebook friends or something it's like i open a field of possibilities and then i let life bring into this field you know who will be in alignment with that and uh, very often it's a very organic thing which is very intuitive it's based on synchronicities you know like some people you keep on meeting them systematically all the time mm -hmm. and so that that process of synchronicity is a sign from the universe from the invisible that hey there is something there that that needs to be worked out mm -hmm. and um, you know that's one aspect another aspect i feel of of attracting you know, attracting something that is going to be juicy and interesting and in alignment with what is my, my highest potential is to be myself in a place where I can show up. Uh, you know, this is like, um, like preparing yeah. yourself, getting really relationship ready or getting, you know, relating ready uh, means that I want to be, when you show up in my space, in my life, I want to be in a place from where I can really dance with you, from where I can really play with you, from where I'm, I'm going to be a good lover, I'm going to be present, I'm going to be showing up from a place where I'm at my best. Yes. So if, you know, if I stop showing up for myself, then of course you you know, the, the, it's not going to be a match. Yes. So um, this, is, uh, this is more the idea of getting, getting relationship ready. Get, in a way, get your shit together, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> get really to a place where you love yourself, you are, in, you know, happy with yourself, happy with your body, happy with your life, happy with all this stuff. It doesn't have to be perfect, but at least be in a place where you feel like you have something to, to offer yes. in, in yes. that space and then... Yeah, that because you attract what you are. You attract like a frequency that is going to be a match for what you are, who you are, how you're showing up. You're, you're going to attract people who are going to match you in all these different frequencies. They're going to match your shadows. They're going to match your light, your ability to communicate, all of your issues. You're going to attract what you are. So the more you become in alignment with 
what feels really good, then you're going to be attracting people into your space that are going to be a match for that. So, Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this is fun. Yes. Yeah, I like it. I like recording videos with you. I know. I like it too. It's super I sweet. I love this woman. <laughs> so adorable. Adorable applies to you. Yeah. I'm surprised when I see you. I know. I've, <clears throat> I've never had a man call me adorable. You are adorable. Before I think you. she's adorable. <laughs> I think she's adorable. Bye. Bye.